Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. So this video was supposed to be a vlog of me and my husband driving to Sweden to meet my family because my sister from Canada and her son traveled back to Sweden. We haven't seen them for two years, I think. So the family is reunited. <laughs> I started vlogging and then <laughs> two days later I discovered that I forgot my camera bag with all my equipment so I couldn't charge my battery for the camera the battery died but I recorded a couple of things and I'm gonna just put the footage in here because that's how much I vlogged Assalamu alaikum, good morning, blessed Friday. It's Friday today and we are driving to Sweden by car to see my family, inshallah. We are in Copenhagen right now and then we will have a stop in Malmö. We are going to eat lunch there and then we will continue to Stockholm. If you ever visit Copenhagen, this is a, a hotel that I really rock recommend it's called hotel copenhagen island it's so beautiful the view is amazing it's near the sea there is a mall right there uh, it's a very big mall you know with all the shops and stuff and i recommend a restaurant called cyprus i think it's halal they have turkish buffet it's amazing it's so delicious so yeah if you ever visit copenhagen stay at this hotel and go to that restaurant you won't regret it i promise you <laughs> It was delicious. So we just arrived. We are now in Stockholm and we just checked in at our hotel. The room is so cute. It has like a kitchen and it's nice. Right now we are going to my parents house it has been a long day it's dark already and we've been driving for six hours i think <laughs> 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 this girl just bought a dress Yay. because you're going on a party on Saturday. <laughs> we have been dress hunting because we are going all in with our dresses for this party that we have been uh planning for yeah like i've told all my friends listen you can't come with plain boring <laughs> dresses you have to get you know glittery glamour yeah <laughs> hello no ring oh lady city it's just siri uh -huh. yes yeah, so we have planned a party we've been doing it for two months or one and a half i don't know and the plan is to rent a it's like a wedding um, what's the name? Wedding uh, Wedding hall or something like that It's like a wedding hall 
and we are going all in with the dresses with the decoration with the uh, cake it's okay and everything this is the party playlist <laughs> Woo! now we are going through the playlist now listening to all the songs sorry we're going to the playlist we are going through uh -huh. yeah so we are are you excited i am super duper freaking yes. excited it's tuesday today so it's a couple of days left <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so are you happy with the dress yeah, I'm very happy, but uh, the the woman that I bought it from said that she like bought it and then she uh, never. Uh -huh. She regret. She regret it. Regret it. She regretted. So I hope the dress. that doesn't happen with me. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I'm happy. I thought it looked very very good on me, and I thought yeah, it, was it was very beautiful. like. Uh, a battery toilet holder, so my battery is dying. But Goodbye. I just wanted to say that. After that, my camera died. The concept was to have a wedding without a bride and a groom. So just, you know, hijabi people and non-hijabi people just having fun, dancing, eating dinner, doing some activities. It was a lot of fun. So we went all in with everything. Anyway, the party was a blast. I had so much fun and it was very much appreciated from the people that were invited so it was a big success alhamdulillah i arrived yesterday back here in denmark and yeah i was so dead i woke up at nine today uh and i haven't had breakfast and it's the clock is two right now <laughs> so i need to go do some grocery shopping and i think i'm just gonna buy some lunch so i will take you with me today in this random vlog so let's go by the way, this is the latest book I've been reading. It's called De Lilla Hotelet Pour Rue d'Amour. It's written by Dog Ern Lund. It's a Swedish book. I loved the cover. I love this vintage cottagecore style. And I love the concept. So the main characters are actually a hotel room, the phone in the hotel room, the window in the hotel room. It's called Fenêtre. The key for the hotel room called clay so these are the main characters they basically tell you about every guest that rents this hotel room there are a lot of stories going on i just thought it was different from all the love stories and crimes and stuff we usually or i usually read about so i thought it was a great book so before i got dressed this morning i just discovered that i forgot my black pants in Sweden and I only own two pairs of pants a black one and a beige one because this unstable lifestyle has made me more of a minimalist uh, other than that I just own suits that I buy from Moda Nisa so this is just me wearing this suit for the hundredth time this year so unfortunately I always forget stuff in Sweden every time I came back to Denmark so this is our life right now my husband arrived a week ago I arrived yesterday and we are traveling again um, in four days I think four days yeah in four days uh, but this time it's just a vacation with the, for the two of us it's nothing like work related and it's nothing family related it's just the two of us enjoying a nice vacation together so with that said, when it comes to grocery shopping, it's always like we can't buy a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to go buy some uh, breakfast things like milk, yogurt, or maybe some cornflakes. We do have eggs. Uh, yeah, this is our fridge right now. It's half empty. It's always like that. So without further ado, let's go. And I'm going to take Tote bag. Ja, 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 det ska jag. Alltså det är så kallt. Like, the sun is up, but it's so cold. And I did have a cold, that's why my voice is cracking. I sound like I've been smoking. For ow. <laughs> A couple of years. Every time I drive, uh, drive. Every time I travel back from Sweden, I feel so empty. I miss my family so much, even though I do meet them a lot. Alhamdulillah. Just think about all the night. Oh, see, and it's so cold. So, 
it's kind of boring to always come back it gets boring for me because I'm studying online and like my entire life is in Sweden my friends my family uh, it's always things happening there it's, it's basically because I don't know anyone here in Denmark well basically I don't know anyone everywhere I go because me and my me and my husband, we are always staying for a couple of months at every country we go to. So I never get the opportunity to meet people, especially when I'm traveling back and forth to Sweden a lot. That's basically my fault, honestly. As I walked to the netto, I don't know. It's not here I want to be. الو بس سؤال على السريع بتعرف شو اسمها هذا مطعم تركي اللي اخذتني عليه شربنا عنده شوربه شو اسمها هاي المنطقه اذا بدي اروح على النت هونيك بتعرف؟ اوكي شكرا يلا سلام So I'm at the right destination finally <laughs> and yeah I just want to say something more um, every time I travel somewhere I'm all for supporting your local Muslim this place has got all the supermarkets like Lidl, Netto, um, Fortex I think, Rima 1000, uh, Aldi and all one in one place and so I always shop at Lidl because you know, I know it from Sweden, I know it from Germany, I love their stuff. Uh, but I was walking, I'm gonna show you maybe, I was walking uh, a little further down uh, the street and I saw a supermarket and I was like immediately, I told my husband, this is 100% owned by a Middle Eastern or like an Arab or Daisy, whatever. Um, so yeah, I was happy to find it because I love to support the local Muslims, as I said. And if you don't know, I have an Instagram account called Support Your Muslim that I share uh, small businesses and big businesses uh, owned by Muslim people uh, because I'm all down for supporting each other and growing as a community. So this is the concept I talked about. I saw this in Copenhagen when I was there with my family. It's basically a dinner box, which is kebab box. Uh, and you can choose between kebab, like meat, chicken or falafel. It's like a kebab um, plate, but in a box. So we've got the meat, the salad and the fries. And it's so good. It's only 50 Denmark krones. Danish crowns. It's so nice. I love this. I love this concept. Like it's like kebab to go, and it's halal. Very nice. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this brilliant idea that I absolutely love. It's so delicious. I'm gonna have my lunch here in the car, and then I'm just gonna drive back home. Speaking of kebab, I must say the most delicious kebab I've ever had is actually in Sweden maybe because I'm used to it I don't know but the kebab the taste of the kebab in Sweden is so nice but the kebab here I didn't like it in Denmark maybe because I'm not used to the taste but even when I was in Turkey and I had a plate of kebab it was nice but I think I prefer the kebab in Sweden maybe because I'm used to it as I said like this could be a very nice concept in Sweden if you have a restaurant please in Sweden make these make this concept I absolutely love it especially mangal or lezzet mangal or where it's called we've got in Stockholm Shista in Handan it's so good 
because their kebab is so delicious so if you are a restaurant owner in Stockholm you're serving halal food take this concept everyone will love it it's so so nice alhamdulillah I am so full I'm satisfied alhamdulillah almost four o'clock and I am a little bit concerned about the traffic because in Sweden at this time people are returning back from home uh, from home <laughs> from work I don't know if it's the same here in Denmark so we will see if I get back home without any problems <laughs> So I'm back from my little trip and before we go into the house look at these apple trees We've got a lot of apple trees and the apples oh you're making juice the apples are so delicious I have had a few So I'm back home. I got some apples. Oh my god this Supermarket was huge, mashallah. And I got this labneh. We used to eat it in the Netherlands. I love it. This is the most delicious labneh I have ever had in my entire life. And I think it's German. It says frisch käse, but oh, there's still a milk red ost. I don't know where this was made, actually. Yeah, it's made in Germany. Ha, I knew it. Got a bag of candies because that's my good to pleasure. I can't do without it, you know. My absolute favorite chai latte of all time. I found this here in Denmark. This is my favorite choco orange, and I've had the caramel as well. And they've got vanilla. I want to try the vanilla, but oh my god, this is so nice. So I'm gonna make myself a cup of chai latte, and I'm gonna. I need to animate something for a YouTube channel. Not mine, but someone else's. Jag tänker att jag ber Asr som medan vattnet blir varmt. Jag är på prathumör idag. <laughs> jag har fastnat på Facebook Watch. And I've been watching The Dragon's Den, the UK version. And I am... Oh, I love it. I love to see how people pitch their ideas. I love to see all the different ideas and I have learned that just because an investor tell you, tells you your idea is crap or you know you're not gonna make it it's not true a lot of these people that actually comes to the den and have ideas and some of them don't get an investor because the investor don't think they have a great idea they actually they've made it on their own like a lot of companies um, has grown so so much and I am so inspired and I love to see um, the process and all of that so it's a very great show uh, I just wanted to say that if you have a, an idea just go for it and that's what I'm going to do that's why I'm vlogging right now <laughs> no just kidding <laughs> that's okay about it I'm gonna wrap up this vlog right here thank you so much for watching and you will see me in my next video inshallah Bye.